information from necessary force and the haunting of Gabriel Chase is needed after 30 years of soldiering, Lethbridge Stewart retired from unit and the army. On the same day he'd handed in his service revolver, he found himself sent back in time for a short span of time, to his very first day serving as brigadier at the HQ. He and his younger self realized that he'd been sent back in time as a distraction for the younger brigadier while a robot duplicate of their aide, Captain Summerfield, attempted to blow up the HQ with a bomb disguised as a tea machine. After the threat was thwarted, the older brigadier vanished back to his home time to resume his retirement after this unexpected last adventure at HQ. Oh, his last day, having boxed up all his possessions from his office, Corporal Bell drove the brigadier out of Unit HQ for the last time and down to Brendan Public School in Hertfordshire. There he took a post as an A-level maths teacher. Over the course of his retirement, however, he found there were moments when he was asked to perform unofficial tasks for Unit. He later explained to the Sixth Doctor that, every now and again, he agreed. A week before he was due to start as a teacher, he took a holiday to the Yorkshire Dales in a quiet village. Though intent on enjoying himself, he could not stop himself from going on one last adventure. By investigating mysterious disappearances on the moors, he ended up uncovering not some extraterrestrial activity as he had expected, but a deranged all-too-human murderer called Alton, whom he overpowered and handed over to the police. In 1977, the brigadier was investigating an Inca pyramid in South America. In 1977, the brigadier saw and touched hands with his own future self from 1983. The time differential shorted out, causing an energy discharge. And his work with Havoc. In 1983, when his pupils included the humanoid alien Vissler Turlow, the brigadier encountered the fifth doctor, whom he did not recognize as being the doctor at first, and met his past self from 1977. This completed the temporal paradox and allowed him to restore his memory. The brigadier was attending an anniversary reunion of UNIT, in October 1983. After the second doctor arrived, and greeted the brigadier warmly, both of them were captured and transported to the death zone on Gallifrey. They eventually found their way through to the tomb of Rassilon, where the brigadier was also reunited with the third doctor, Sarah Jane Smith and Tegan Javanka. He and the third doctor knocked out the master when he appeared shortly later, after which Rassilon returned him to Earth. Having returned to the reunion, other guests the brigadier met included John Benton, Mike Yates, Tom Osgood, Carol Bell, Liz Shaw, Dennis Palmer, Maisie Hawk, Sir John Sudbury and even a long-retired Scobby. At some point after, the brigadier had returned to unit for a meeting and was abducted as part of a trap to capture the fourth doctor, with the brigadier meeting Romana and unintentionally providing a crucial distraction that allowed their current enemy to be defeated. In 1984, the brigadier sent Major Whitaker to Reykjavik to investigate an unnatural increase in volcanic and seismic activity. In 1989, Lethbridge Stewart conducted an investigation of the dealings of Seninet and was captured. He was rescued by the Sixth Doctor, who uncovered and stopped yet another invasion attempt by the Nestine Consciousness.